The graph below represents f prime of x of a continuous function, and we're asked to determine the open intervals for which f of x is concave up, concave down, as well as the location of any points of inflection. We know if the second derivative is positive over an interval, then f of x is concave up, and if the second derivative is negative over an interval, f of x is concave down. But we're not given the graph of the second derivative, we're given the graph of the first derivative. So we'll have to make the connection that just like we know, if f of x is increasing, the first derivative is positive, and if f of x is decreasing, the first derivative is negative. Similarly, if f prime of x is increasing, then the second derivative is positive, and if f prime of x is decreasing, the second derivative is negative. So because we're given the graph of the derivative function and asked about concavity, we need to determine the open intervals for which f prime of x is increasing as well as decreasing. So analyzing the graph from left to right, notice how f prime of x is increasing over the open interval from zero to four, and then f prime of x is decreasing over the open interval from four to six, and then f prime of x is increasing again over the open interval from six to infinity. So again, if the derivative function is going uphill from left to right, it's increasing. If it's going downhill from left to right, the derivative function is decreasing. And once again, the intervals for which the derivative function is increasing indicates the second derivative is positive, and therefore f of x is concave up, and where the derivative function is decreasing, the second derivative is negative, indicating the function is concave down. So because the derivative function is increasing, over the open interval from zero to four, we know f of x is concave up over this interval. And also notice it's concave up over the open interval from six to infinity. And therefore we have union open interval from six to infinity. And the first derivative is decreasing over the open interval from four to six. And therefore f of x is concave down over this open interval. Next, the points of inflection occur where the function changes from concave up to concave down or from concave down to concave up. This would also be where the first derivative changes from increasing to decreasing or from decreasing to increasing. So analyzing the graph of the derivative function, notice how it changes from increasing to decreasing at x equals four, indicating we have a point of inflection at x equals four. This also is verified from our work above where notice how the function changes from concave up to concave down at x equals four. And the derivative function also changes from decreasing to increasing at x equals six, indicating we have another point of inflection at x equals six. I do want to point out that we are told f of x is a continuous function, so even though the derivative function is undefined at x equals six, we know f of x is continuous and defined at x equals six. And also notice how, from our work above, our function changes from concave down to concave up at x equals six, again verifying we have a point of inflection at x equals six. I hope you found this helpful.